Hello, welcome to my new channel. It's uh, Dream Interpretations and uh, Guided Meditation. So, I am a dream interpreter and I have, I guess, all, always been a dream interpreter in my life, but I didn't realize it till about maybe 15 or 20 years ago. I have um, actively pursued it in the past um, 10 to 15 years and, um, and I have had a lot of practice with my um, students because I'm also a teacher and I've been in education for over 20 years. So lots of experience with lots of people and lots of energies and lots of things. So, um, so this is really what um, this channel is about. It's about helping people uh, with their dreams and trying to interpret them. I fully believe that dreams um, come to us. Um, well, some dreams don't matter and, and they're just kind of a hot mess and it just is like because we either ate too, you know, we ate a lot before we went to sleep or we have some um, things consciously that we're worried about or subconsciously, but for the most part dreams come and, um, and appear and we have dreams when it is an important time in our life that we need guidance and so whether you believe in uh, Buddha, um, you know, your God, Source, Energy, um, you know, whatever it is that you believe, your spirit guides, uh, your, your um, you know, the people that have passed, you know, I believe in reincarnation, so the people that have passed that are helping you from, um, from the spirit. So uh, they come through dreams and they come to guide you and it has been heavily documented. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been a little under the weather, have so many allergies, but it has been fully documented always in the Bible, you know, where that dream uh, where, you know, one of the pharaohs or, or kings, you know, had his esquire and, and told him, you know, I had the, this dream, you know, seven cows that were thin and seven cows that were fat or vice versa. And so they basically, um, you know, the interpretation was that they were going to have plenty for seven years and then they were going to have drought for seven years. So for those seven years, they, um, you know, they acted accordingly and they saved up all their food and all their grains. And so they were able to uh, sustain and be able to survive the drought. So I fully believe in dream interpretations. I'm here and this is what this um, channel is about. It's about guiding people um, to be able to follow their path and be able to understand the dream interpretations. It has been extensive what I have studied um, in terms of symbolisms and dream interpretations and just recently you know in um, at school it's been great because I have had the honor to interpret uh, dreams for my students and they have been um, great help and they have been a uh, great practice for me so um, so I thank them all um, what I will do is um, I will put up um, a link um, you know and that will have all the information down below um, and I will upload videos pertaining to specific dreams and what um, what the interpretations were they're all very interesting and they have all helped um, everybody that has come close to me and with that I want to start my um, <coughs> excuse me, my own story um, about dreams. I always sort of dreamt, you know, I've always had very vivid, uh, vivid dreams. And so I was always very intrigued and I always felt that it was a path and something that, you know, that I needed to pursue. I want to thank my younger sister. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. You know, she uh, very much helped me and she, every time she had a dream, she would call me up and, and had me practice my interpretations, which everything is practice even for, you know, something so esoteric as, as dreams and subconsciously um, as well, you know, everything is subconscious and it's well documented that we dream the REM and all that. So, um, so I want to first, um, first and foremost, you know, tell my story. So when I was married and I've been divorced several times, <coughs> as I tell my students, I am, um, I've had two husbands because I can. So, um, but that's another story and that's another video. But, um, so what has happened was that I was uh, married at my first marriage, um, was, um, I was married uh, for 16 years. Uh, we dated for about two. So I had been with my husband for about 18 to 20 years. I, I loved him dearly. But it was a very hard marriage and, and it was very difficult and um, I loved him dearly and so and I was really really young at the time I married when I was 22 that's the way it used to be and so we had our children and you know I just never really thought I'd be divorced twice so um, so you just never know but anyway so that's been my journey so what happened in my in my marriage was that I would have this recurring dream about me trekking through the desert and it was 
the sand and you know and it was such a hard track and it was hills and mountains and I was always exhausted when I woke up and I was always going home I was going home I was going home but I never reached home I would never go home and I would go have a recurring dream I never I never knew how often the recurring dream is I should have you know jotted it down uh, but I had that recurring dream and, and in the dream you know, I was married at the time, but my husband was never with me, but my children were, and my children were right behind me. And so we were going home and we would trek and I would have to like go up these mountains and these hills and the sands and these dunes. And it was just a really hard, hard trek. Can you imagine walking for kilometers and miles and miles and miles in the sand? It was the sand. It was just such a hard trek. <clears throat> and I would, you know, pull up my children whenever we had like a hill. I remember this one specifically. We had to like go up to like this uh, wall that was up there, but it was kind of like, you know, it was like a stone wall, but it was a lot of dirt. So then I would like, I got up and then, you know, and then pulled them up and we were up. And now I realized that that was a step, you know, closer to my, to my goal. And, um, and I never understood the dream. And then, and I was always very, very exhausted and my husband was never in the dream. It was just my, my, it was just my children and myself. And so what happened in the end is that after I divorced, the dreams stopped. I never had that dream again. And so it was really very interesting to me that I had all of a sudden stopped with the recurring dream that was such a horrendous nightmare because it really was a nightmare because usually most recurring dreams are nightmares. And, um, and so I really started having an introspective and really started looking inward and try to figure out why it was that I was not having that recurring dream again since I had had it for so many years. I had had it for so many years and it never stopped until afterwards and I wanted to see what the difference was when it was afterwards. So in the end, the interpretation that I came, uh, came across and I, you know, I have a gift about this. So it's, it's just, you know, I also am sort of an empath and kind of psychic, so I can feel a lot of things. So, so in addition to all the symbolisms and everything that I've studied, you know, it's also about what I sort of see um, that is, you know, not tangible and is sort of esoteric. And so what happened was that um, I realized that I was... I was going home and my marriage was such a um, trek in the sand and it was such a difficult journey and path for me and that eventually I would get home and home isn't necessarily a house or a mortar you know building with brick and mortar it's it's home is within and it's it's your spirit and it's yourself and it's where you are at peace and you are happy and you are balanced and you are in harmony and it is where you are loved and you um, love and so um, so I realized that I was going home and I was going to go and leave this very hard journey and I had left this very hard journey and I was only going to be with my children and myself and that's why my husband was never in the picture because he was not supposed to be in the picture because it was a very toxic relationship at that point. So the message was that the journey was hard and it was uh, very difficult and that I was going down this journey that eventually I was going to get home with my children and then at the moment that I, that I did that and I divorced and I was out of that toxicity uh, and it was toxic for him too as well, you know, as I always say, and I have another, I have another channel, um, you know, called Miss Serene, so you're more than welcome to, to see that channel as well, and that's about relationships and, and self-empowerment and, um, you know, reaching your highest self and, um, you know, being uh, the best person that you can be. So, um, you know, when I left that relationship is when I stopped having the dream, and so I had... Um, you know, achieved a goal about getting out of that toxicity and really coming home and achieving and getting my children um, in this journey as well with me. So that is my story and I, you know, wish that at the time somebody would have told me, although, you know, sometimes we are not uh, open to receiving the message. I've had some students um, that very graciously come and want me to interpret, but when I interpret the dream, they are very resistant. So the interpretation is the interpretation and it is the message, uh, whether you are open to receiving it or not, it's up to you and you will be open to receiving the full message and act upon it. Uh, when you um, have the courage to do so and that's what the messages are and some messages don't make any sense the dreams are just the dreams um, you know the dreams are specific to the person that has it that's why they are so specific and that's why it is so important to have this tool like a dream interpretation interpreter that can be able to do that as well I also do guided meditation videos 
um, not videos, but um, sessions uh, where, you know, I teach my students how to meditate because it's a really good skill to have for school and for life and to be able to have for your tests. And so um, the guided meditation has also been uh, very important and it's sort of like um, the ability to uh, be, you know, um, enlightened without necessarily going to sleep. So that was also very, very powerful. I will mention, you know, one of the many stories that I have for guided meditation that saved one of my students, um, and but I'll say that in one of the videos. So welcome to my channel, and I hope that, you know, that this channel is to help um, bring clarity and enlighten the path that you are so walking so that you are able to understand the messages that your subconscious tells you and gives you, but also the messages if you so wish that um, to believe as I do, that you are being guided to receiving from uh, people that have passed and from all your guides and angels and God and uh, Buddha or Allah or you know energy source or source or whatever it is that you believe and if you don't believe in anything then maybe you could believe in your subconscious that tells you where you should be going and why you're going and what it is that you're doing and maybe get a little help because we all need help going through this very difficult loving journey that we are here uh, in order to grow and progress so with that many blessings welcome to my channel may be a guide and a beacon of uh, enlightenment and understanding and I am only here as a channel uh, to enlighten the path and to, um, you know, to describe or inform uh, what the message truly means for you because the message that you are having through your dreams is specific and particular to your situation and to your life. Many blessings and may this journey together be very helpful for you uh, while I um, do this in my path journey that I so much talk about. Thank you so much. Ciao.